Hello traders, this is Igor from FX Eager YouTube channel and today I will talk about indicators and expert advisors backtesting is MetaTrade platform. So this is very important thing and I know that a lot of traders really have very bad approach in backtesting because people always try to find some shine glory or something special in expert advisors and they forget to test in a real way, real test and see is that expert advisor indicator profitable or valid. So let me start from the beginning. As you know, if you want to run strategy tester, you just go to the view, press strategy tester and you will see like you see on the screen how that looks like. I just want to tell you that there are two concepts and before I start to talk about uh, testing and go to the meta trader, I just want to talk and you just want you to see on the slide right now just about concept, major concept before I start to talk about that test. So if you want to back test your strategy idea, you will start from indicator and you will try to separately or together to back test the indicator. I will show you later how to do that but I just want to tell you the four concepts that you need to know. First, if you test your indicator in your strategy tester, you want to see is that indicator works or not. Other thing you want to test, does this indicator repaint? What it means is a lot of indicators will show, for example, buy three months ago or buy three weeks ago or buy three hours ago and show you the lowest low in the last three hours. That kind of information is not valuable because you know where is the low, but you want to know something for future. And they put a buy arrow there on the chart and you think, wow, this is good. If th this indicator know when I should buy, but no, they created that arrow right now in this moment and go three hours or three weeks or three days ago in the past and put the arrow. This is repeating. This is the something that the expert advisor just show you what you want to see, but not the real data, the real stuff. Then you should use multiple indicators at the same time and, and make that strategy tester. And on the end, what is the most important thing is that combination of several indicators can give you some bright ideas and because of that you may be able to create some interesting or profitable strategy for your own. What is the another thing is very important is the back testing expert advisors. I will just give you four very, very important rules that other people do not follow. So these rules are very important. Backtest, you should backtest one trade per time with fixed number flaw. Why I'm talking about? Because a lot of expert advisors use three, four, five, six, nine orders. Uh, they open multiple orders per time. You know, we have a losing trade. They open another, uh, another um, another trade and another trade and you have a five buy orders and last five hours you have a strong bearish trend and you just buy 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 and expert advisor just tell you oh I think one moment this will this trend will change but this is not like that you know uh, you need to strategically trade and because of that you should always backtest the strategy with one trade per time with a fixed number of lots good expert advisors always give you in inputs opportunity to set number of trades only buy only sell to give you to change some things in your expert advisor, not to be black box. If you have a black box expert advisor, I usually try to avoid or I just create expert advisor in my opinion, my, my own. The second very important concept is test expert advisor in large time span. What that means is if you test in last month or last year, it's not enough. I usually test at least 20 years. And even, even if I see that expert advisor very good in the last 20 years, I go 25 years ago to test this strategy because I want to see that expert advisor need to adapt. Whenever your technical analysis is different or, or, or trading conditions are different, Actually, your expert advisor, if it's based on technical analysis, should adapt. You know, if uh, volatility is different, expert advisor needs to adapt. How? Using average true range. You know, uh, expert advisor cannot have fixed number of pips for stop loss or target. You know, 
30 pip stop loss, 30 pips target. No, why? Because if uh, volatility is big or huge, you cannot have the same stop loss and target if you have a low volatility or high volatility. And the next thing that we need to know is that you should need to test either for bullish or bearish trend. What I like to do, for example, I like to set on my expert advisor to buy only during the bearish trend. You know, I pick a bearish, a bearish months, for example, several bearish months, and then I set to buy only during the bearish months to see how expert advisor adapt when the trend is against that expert advisor. It's very valuable information to see there is ad adapting opportunity there. And on the end, when you watch and you try to see how your expert advisor perform, I like to watch a drawdown and profit factor. Profit factor is a very valuable thing, but drawdown is much, much important because you can have a very, very, very small profits in dollars, but if you have a minimal drawdown, that expert advisor can be astonished, can be beautiful, can be extraordinarily good. So this is the rules. Like I said, one trade per time, fix a number of lots, large time span, testing during the bullish and bearish trends, and always watch drawdown and profit factor when you watch everything. So now I will start and I will analyze the strategy tester. Right now, I'm a strategy tester. As you know, I just purchased one beautiful indicator from one very good website, and I want to test that indicator. I just pick that indicator here, and I pick British pound dollar. I put uh, this year, last five months, for example. I picked in visual form, I checked because I want to see how my indicator perform, and I pick one, one hour. Indicator properties, I will just for the beginning put default and uh, what I can do, I just press the start and we will see what will happen. So I'm just watching, I can a little bit change here, I can a little bit speed up. I want to see what's happened with indicator, how that's working and let's see. In this moment indicator put a bearish arrow, as you can see the Indicator, when the indicator put the bearish arrow, we're talking about this price here. Why? Because, because in the next candle, I will have information about previous candle. So I'm here. If I make a sell call, you can see this trade will be a negative trade. If I do the same thing here and sell, let me see what will happen. Oh, it's not good. Only couple, couple of hours down and then huge strong bullish trend. And I, if I just as this expert advice, uh, this indicator, I figure out that this indicator is very good for trading markets 40 years ago or 30 years ago. But right now, when we have a market with um, not so long trends, this indicator is not for me. And I will try to some other. I will just show one repeating indicator just to see how that looks like. I will just show you one okay this is it so what is the with this indicator with this indicator you will see what will happen right now okay this is the problem so you see this is the bullish arrow here and uh you think okay wow it's it's it sees this is bullish but the problem is arrow should be here because i figure out that there's a bullish trend starting after this candle you know after this candle and this is the usually big problem with this kind of strategies i can test this strategy on for example daily chart let me see there maybe here we can see better way as you can see here after this candle i figure out the starting bullish trend and i can buy here and this indicator is very simple and a little bit stupid because after strong bullish candle it will draw the buy arrow and after strong bearish candle draw bearish ca bearish uh, arrow and uh, if uh, trend continues nothing change if trend switch it will just switch the arrow and this kind of information is not good for me and i want to start something else 
in this stage when you test indicators want to see what is uh, good i will just show you when you pick for example some basic indicators some that everybody else have and make some combination with that for example i will put moving average indicator okay there is a moving average here i can put press like this but what i can do right now this is the way how you create a expert advisors you put one indicator and test that indicator after that i can add another indicator for example macd and i can add another moving average for example 200 here with a um, yellow color and then i can just put to see can these three indicators correlate to each other or maybe together create some signals and i just i can create a lot of a lot of combinations so my always advice is to, to pick one indicator, add on the chart, start testing that indicator, and then add several indicators during the testing. And then you will produce maybe some strategy in your head. And this is the very valuable and great thing. Like I said, what we can do is we can test um, any expert advisor. I just pick MACD sample because this is expert advisor is major sample in your meta trader plan here what they want to tell you always try to pick a huge time span for testing like this for example you just pick some big numbers to see is this expert advice good i could put all the chart and something like that and this is the first thing that you can do uh, during the testing like i said can be very very long testing of course you will see the buy and sell opportunities you will see a lot of missed trades you will see a lot of things you can watch 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 but the good thing is you can just uh, disable visual mode and just put it much faster to work and uh, create like this expert advice uh in report section you can watch a lot of things first the most important thing what is the profit factor it's a 0 0.456 that means this is not profitable profitable expert advisor profitable expert advisor should have above one and uh, as you know we should have at least 1.5 to make some consideration that this expert advisor is good the other thing that i need to watch is a drawdown this is the maximum drawdown and uh, of course i had a lot of money it's a 0.23 percent because i had a lot of money in balance this is demo account i think and uh, and in this is the this is the this is the something that i cannot use but in the real live trading account you can see that and you can you can spot the problem with drawdown because drawdown should really less than five percent if you tr if you test your expert advice last 20 years you need to accomplish that why because if you work with a prop company they ask you keep drawdown less than five percent and if you create the expert advisor that expert advisor should have drawdown in the last 20 years less than five percent the important thing is always test one trade per time and avoid any martin martin Jolla strategies where they just uh, create a multiple trades or increase the value of micro lots or mini lots after losing trades and after that they create some kind of profit but it's a false profit because sooner or later your whole account will lose the money so you just need to have a good concept i just show you some concept that you should use in trading and always try to follow that large time span or um, uh, one one trade per time and set and set because this is important things uh, all that expert advisors that uh, want to give you uh, millions and millions of dollars they're very good and they work and as they open a large number of trades all that is a scam because all that kind of expert advisor not good you should have expert advisor they can create one trade per time put a stop loss put a target and make profit very simple and very hard to accomplish so this is the major thing when you talk about strategy tester um, for anybody if you know know that you can in expert properties set all things and inputs change that inputs repeat the process try to change time frames uh try try time frames try to take to change the dates and you should always 
test your expert advisors in various systematic environment and try to see how it's happened during the bullish trend, how my expert advisors work in the bearish trend, what should I do if it's a, it's a huge drawdown in this situation or this situation. Uh, this is the real questions and this is that your expert advisors need to give you the right answers. And one important thing, when a good trader ha has a lot of losing trade, do you know what the good traders does? Reduce the lot size, reduce the trade size. This is the good trader important rule. And expert advisors usually when they're losing money, they increase, 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 increase and then burn your account. This is not good. So please use the smart backtesting in MetaTrader 4 and enjoy, enjoy in real good expert advisors that you sometimes it's better to have a valuable, simple expert advisor with profit factor 1.5 then very good expert advisor with 10 open trades and uh, draw down this like this and everything is fake avoid fake expert advisors avoid avoid repainting indicators try to think using your head create your own strategy for strategy testing I don't want to give you, for example, how I do exactly step by step because I'm changing that step. I adapt to the expert advisor. Very often, I, I just judge on different ways, different approaches. I always try to look the bad spots, the bad moments of my expert advisor. I'm looking for bad because when I test, I want to see bad. When I trade, I want to see good. So this is the major, major, major rules that good traders should follow. I wish you a great day and bye-bye.